What's up guys, Joe here for Gamer Toys and I'm back with another pickup video. Let's get into it. Mail time. All right, now this one, this is a package that I got from, I mean, I could probably just ask you guys to guess by now and you're gonna know. From Brandon, Jabba's Toy Dungeon. I got some pieces that I needed for the Ewok Village, specifically these two tree struts for underneath the platforms. I think I'm only missing one but now I got an extra one and there's nothing wrong with that. And then the coolest part, I already have the boulder, but unfortunately my playset did not come with any of the original string. This guy right here came with the original string, which is awesome. Just another piece of the string, which maybe I'll slap on the elevator or use for the capture net, which is another piece that I'm still missing. But uh, to have this vintage string is awesome. But yeah, awesome. Thanks, Brandon. It's not like we're done with you anyway. Next one. A saran wrap. So what we have here, I have a Star Wars Collections booklet. We'll start with this gray one right here. This one's really sweet. It's got a sweet uh, picture of Hoth on the front with the uh, Rebel Troopers getting bombed, getting shot up by those AT-ATs. It even has the official Star Wars fan club membership on the back, which is awesome. So let's take a look in here. It's a lot of the same stuff from the other ones. Shows the figures, mini rigs, a lot of stuff from Empire, like the Snowspeeder and the Tauntaun. Just a cool book. Another one to add to the collection. This one's nice and mint. I don't even have this one, so to have in this condition is great. So we have a Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Kenner catalog here. Uh, it says on the back, look for these exciting new toys from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection by Kenner. Pretty much looks like it has the same artwork as the other one. Uh, it's just a little bit bigger. Ooh, that's cool. It shows the, the uh, Yoda puppet and the lightsaber with the red blade. More of the roleplay items and it looks like some of the die casts as well. Even a Play-Doh set. It's pretty sweet. So um, another booklet to go into the collection. I'm thinking about maybe framing these booklets to keep them nice. Uh, hang them on the wall. I don't know. It's, it's just really cool artwork, and that's what uh, It's one of the main things I love about Star Wars, especially the vintage stuff is the box art and the artwork. So let's start with this one. I Finally found something from wave 2 from the 40th anniversary collection. I found the death squad commander at a Walmart Now I got a tip from Jay his girlfriend was actually in Walmart when they were stocking these but by the time I got there, everything was gone except this guy. They had Chewbacca, Stormtrooper, uh, the Jawa, and the Tusken Raider, I believe. So, of course, I grabbed him because he's the only one I've seen from Wave 2. I'm really hoping that I don't have to rely on eBay to finish this collection because I don't want to be paying eBay prices for the last five figures that I need. But it's kind of looking like I'm not going to have a choice. But yeah, this figure's cool. They actually gave him the correct Rebel style blaster, which is awesome, instead of the normal Imperial one that he came with in the past. Uh, the back's the same as all the other figures. It shows the 12, and it shows the stand that comes with the Darth Vader. It's a great set. I love the card backs, and uh, man, I'm really hoping I can find the other five in the stores. Please. The last pickup, I know this video is probably gonna be a little bit shorter, but I wanted to get this video out. So I picked up a vintage Klaatu on a Return of the Jedi 65 back. That's the one with the green offer and it has the photos of Chewie's bandolier, the Y-Wing, and the C-3PO carrying case. This figure is unpunched, kind of. It's been punched, but the hang tab, I'm gonna open this. So it's been punched, but the hang tab is still intact, which is nice. Bubble is yellow, it's been dented, Value-wise, doesn't hold a lot, but it's just, I couldn't pass it up at the price. Uh, it's got a little bit of damage here where it looks like they tried to peel the price tag off. It kind of looks like water damage, but can't go wrong with Vintage Star Wars. I already had the star case, so I just slapped this bad boy in here so I could stand it up on the shelf. So these are my pickups. We got some figures, some catalogs, and some vintage Ewok Village playset pieces, which I needed, so that's great. Uh, check out Jabba's Toy Dungeon, uh, give Brandon a follow on Instagram, I'll link him down below. And uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.